Hey everyone, welcome to another live cruise blog. If you've not followed me before, I am Paul Blackburn in Chicago, Paul on Cruise Critic. Usually before a cruise, I will do a quick um, intro video so you can hear my voice, see my face. Um, so as you're reading my live blog in Cruise Critic, you can kind of you know, just put a voice to, to my writing. So the cruise we have coming up, which is leaving tomorrow, is the Japan and Bering Sea Cruise. So this is basically a Trans-Pacific cruise. We are going from Vancouver to Alaska and then crossing the Pacific over to Japan. Um, this will be a many firsts for us on this cruise. So one will be our first time in Sitka, Alaska, which is the port uh, that we're stopping in in Alaska. And it'll be our first time crossing the Pacific and our first time ever in Japan. So with that being said, any suggestions, any advice from you guys, the viewers, please feel free to chime in. We'd love to hear what you have to say. If you want to follow along, click on the link down below in the YouTube description, and you can see the link to the Cruise Critic blog, where I'll be posting multiple times per day, posting a bunch of photos, um, answering your questions live as well. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle will be down below in this description as well. And that's my personal Instagram page. So if you see my lovely face and an Instagram full of a bunch of martinis and cruise photos and dinner photos, then you know you've reached the correct account. So the one thing that we're gonna talk about on, um, on this blog is gonna be every single thing that I'm doing. So we're gonna walk you through um, the transportation to the airport. We're going to talk about the hotel I'm staying at before, the total cost of the cruise. We're going to break down any upgrades that we, we purchase on the cruise, whether we're talking about dinner packages or anything along those lines. Um, we're going to talk about the cost of, of, of cab fares in, in the ports. Uh, I'm going to go over the food at the restaurants on the ship. We'll talk about daily activities, the service on the ship, the cleanliness of the room, you name it, we're going to talk about it and be as transparent as possible, including the cost of the total cruise itself, which I know a lot of people don't like talking about. They, they think money's kind of taboo, but you know, at the end of the day, all these things cost money. Then none of this is free. So I think it's helpful to understand all the costs that are actually involved. So when you at home are planning your own vacation, you can see how it compares. And maybe I got a great deal. Maybe I got a crappy deal and it helps reinforce the deal that, that you guys at home have already purchased. So either way, I think it just it helps put everything into, into a good, proper perspective. Um, so with that being said, let's actually talk about some of the costs of this cruise. So this is a 15-night cruise, leaving, like I said, from Vancouver, ending up in Japan, Tokyo specifically, um, is going to be our final port of call. And we, uh, like I said, 15-night cruise on the Celebrity Millennium. So the Millennium is the oldest ship currently in the fleet for Celebrity. And it is um, on the smaller end in comparison to the Solstice class ships, but not really that much smaller. Um, passenger count, I believe, on the Millennium is right around 2,100 passengers and probably about, I'd say about 1,000 crew, maybe a bit more than that. Um, even though it is the oldest ship in the fleet, with the exception of maybe the expedition that they have down in the Galapagos might be older, I'm not sure. Um, in any event, um, it was just recently remodeled um, or edified or whatever the new marketing term celebrity is using for that. Um, so that being said, um, some of the rooms have been, you know, rooms have been redone, bathrooms have been redone, um, some common spaces and, and um, chairs and things like that have been replaced. So uh, I'm looking forward to actually seeing that and reporting back to you. I'm also looking forward to talking to you about how I like the smaller ship. We've done 19 cruises on Celebrity, or this will be our 19th cruise on Celebrity, pardon me, um, and 17 of those um, cruises, of the 18 we already have done, 17 of those 18 um, have been on the Solstice class ships, so the larger 28, 50, 3,000 passenger ships. Um, we've only been on this class of ship once, and that was on a five-night cruise on the Constellation in the Caribbean, so... Um, and that was, geez, I think 2013. So with, with that being said, this might be a little bit of, a, of an adjustment for us. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still celebrity. We still have the martini bar. Um, we still have the great, uh, great staff and the great service that we've come to expect. So uh, I think it's going to be a fantastic cruise. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to checking out a, a ship that I haven't seen in a while and um, seeing a little bit of a different layout and, and a different setup altogether. Um, the cost of this cruise, so 15 nights, um, you can see the exact cost and breakdown of everything down in the Cruise Critic blog below, but I'll tell you right now, we're basically paying $4,300 total for two people in an aqua class stateroom um, with the Go Best package. 
So this includes the go best, which means we have unlimited internet, we have uh, prepaid gratuities, we have, of course, most of our important um, premium drink package, uh, and we also have some additional onboard credit um, from Celebrity. Um, so with that being said, I think we're getting a pretty damn good deal. I did the math last night. I think it worked out to like around 285 or something around that um, per night for two people. So that's really pretty good considering what's included and also considering we have onboard credit too. Um, total including the onboard credit from our travel agent, we have 750 onboard to spend. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty high number, all things included. Um, as far as the onboard credit is concerned, so when we subtract that from the cost of, of, of the cruise, you know, we're, we're almost at 3,500 bucks for this 15 night cruise. Um, so really excited about that. Um, and to show you really, you know, if you shop around and, and you, you pick a certain type of itinerary like this, which we don't have a ton of ports in, but still I think is a pretty unique, unique itinerary, uh, there still are some phenomenal deals to be had out there. Um, so please go ahead and follow along, click that link below, like this, uh, like this video, subscribe to this channel. Um, I will post, as long as the internet on the ship is reliable, I'll get some videos uploaded here onto YouTube while I'm traveling. Um, if we have, you know, some slow internet, which in the middle of the Pacific, that I don't care what ship you're on, that's it definitely has the potential to have some slow internet out there. Um, I'll be posting some very short videos um, on my uh, Instagram account. So go ahead and follow that to stay up to date with our day-to-day -day on the cruise. And any questions at all, go ahead, ask away. The more active you guys are, the more fun I have being active with you and answering your questions. So thanks again for following along.